impact on the voters in Delhi and outside Delhi after the arrest of Delhi Chief Minister Arvind Kejriwal. Do voters think that this is a bona fide act by central agencies or do they think that opposition leaders and parties are being unfairly targeted? What should happen next? Should Kejriwal resign? Can he continue to run government from jail? What do voters think? First time, we'll try and put some numbers to these questions coming up on the political stock exchange this week. Kejriwal's ED custody extended. Delhi Chief Minister calls EDK's political conspiracy. How do voters view Kejriwal's arrest? Has his honest image taken a hit? Will the arrest impact the 2024 polls? The most definitive sentiment tracker. Political Stock Exchange. Delhi Chief Minister Arvind Kejriwal will remain in the custody of the Enforcement Directorate till the 1st of April. In court today, the Delhi Chief Minister spoke and defended himself. He accused the Enforcement Directorate of creating a smokescreen about AAP being corrupt and dared the agency to prove the money trail in the excise policy case. Here's how the legal battle is escalating. A day in court. The Chief Minister of Delhi presented his case in person while agreeing to the Enforcement Directorate's request for remand. The CM aimed to mount a strong defence, accusing the investigating agency of unjustly targeting him without solid evidence and trying to undermine his Ahmadmi party. He labelled the liquor policy case as a politically motivated scheme. आपके सीएम को बहुत तंग किया जा रहा है, बहुत परेशान किया जा रहा है, जनता जवाब दे। the prosecution dismissed the arrested leader's allegations, requesting his custody to question him alongside other suspects in the Delhi liquor policy case. The PMLA court granted the ED's request, extending his custody by four days. The application was for the police remand, the grounds were not legally sustainable. The court requested the court to say something that I want to say about the court request the court to say something that I want to say about the court request the court to say. और उन्होंने बताया डिटेल में कि मेरे खिलाफ क्या एविडेंस है और कोई एविडेंस नहीं है गवाह का बयान है या जैसे भी है उसके बाद आखिर में उन्होंने कहा कि मैं पुलिस रिमांड को ऐसा चपोज नहीं करता हूं और जितना भी आप ये चाहे मेरे को कस्टडी में रख सकते हैं मैं पूरा कॉपरेट करूंगा। Meanwhile, the Delhi High Court dismissed the PIL seeking Kejriwal's removal as Delhi Chief Minister following his arrest. इस निर्णय पे कोर्ट कैसे पहुंचेगा कि अगर तीन स्टेटमेंट सेक्शन 50 में ईडी ने एक ही आदमी से ली है वो अलग अलग है तो एक ईडी को उठा ले उस स्टेटमेंट को और वो कोर्ट में दे दे कि साहब ये स्टेटमेंट सही है क्योंकि ये अरविंद केजरीवाल के खिलाफ है ये दो स्टेटमेंट अरविंद जी के साथ है इसलिए खारिज है इसकी जांच कोर्ट कब करेगा कैसे करेगा ये वही घिसी पिटी बातें ये वही पुरानी बातें उसी को एक प्रकार से रिपीट किया गया परंतु राजनीति का अखाड़ा बनाकर कोर्ट को इस प्रकार से भी कहा जा सकता है कि ये जो कोर्ट में हुआ वो क्योंकि उनको यही फ्रेज समझ में आएगा ओल्ड वाइन इन न्यू बॉटल प्रस्तुत करने का काम था the bench refrained from commenting on the merits of the issue which it noted were beyond the scope of judicial interference with Munish Pandey and Srishti Ojha in Delhi, Bureau Report, India Today. On this week's edition of the Political Stock Exchange, we look at that one question that's been uppermost in the minds of voters in the capital as also outside the capital. What should Kejriwal do? Should he resign? Has he been arrested as an act of political vendetta or has he been arrested because people think he's actually corrupt? So this is the first time 
we'll try and put some data based on the opinion of voters to the questions that have been swirling in the air since the time the Delhi Chief Minister was arrested. Let me take the first question uh, on this week's edition of the Political Stock Exchange. This is data by the polling agency Seavoter. Uh, I want to go across and show you, remember, every response set in this particular edition of the PSE is based uh, on two parts. The first part deals with responses in the capital and the second part deals with responses pan India. So it's first part just gives you a sense of the mood in the capital and the second part gives you the national picture. So here's the first question. What do you make of Kejriwal's arrest? Why do you think he's been arrested? 47.8% of the Delhi voters think he's been arrested because he was corrupt because of an act of corruption. That is, if you're a if you're an AAP supporter, a very alarming number. 48% of the respondents say he's been arrested because they actually think that there is a linkage to corruption. Uh, how many people think this is because Prime Minister Modi and his government have a vindictive policy towards the opposition? 30% of the respondents, 3 in 10 say it's because the Modi government is vindictive towards the opposition. The AAP says it's because Kejriwal is emerging as a real threat to the BJP and to Prime Minister Modi. That's the response of only 16.3% of uh, the respondents. Now, interestingly, naturally, when you look within opposition voters, those who think he's been arrested because of corruption is much lesser, only 17.1%. Uh, opposition voters, 50% of them think he's been arrested because Modi government is vindictive. 30% think because he's emerging as a threat to Modi. Amongst NDA voters, naturally, there's an anti kejriwal skew. So that's the Delhi picture. Now, let's look at the pan-India picture. On your screen now, responses outside Delhi. 38.8% of overall respondents Pan India think he's been arrested because of corruption. And this is what I find intriguing. At this moment, according to the C voter data, there are 10% extra people in Delhi who think he's been arrested because of corruption than they are outside. The outside number is 39%. In Delhi, the number is 48%. So that's a gap, which means his perception, according to this data, in the capital on the issue of corruption is worse than it is outside India. 32% uh, think it's because Modi government follows a vindictive policy against the opposition and 19% think uh, Kejriwal is emerging as a threat to Prime Minister Modi. So interestingly, on all these responses, uh, there's a slight difference with the biggest difference being that more people in Delhi think that it's because of corruption than those outside. Outside, the image is more favorable than it is in the capital. With that first response, let me introduce you to our panelist. Yashwan Deshmukh has a lot of answering to do on these numbers. He's the lead cephologist, founder, director at Seavoter. It's his team that did these numbers for us. So Yashwant, welcome. With us also is Jasmine Shah, Chief National Spokesperson of the Aam Aadmi Party. Welcome back, Jasmine. Once again, Shazia Ilmi knows a thing or two about the Aam Aadmi Party. She's a part of the movement, the party, and now National Spokesperson of the Bharatiya Janata Party. Representing um, the Congress in Delhi is its spokesperson, Mudit Agarwal. And uh, political analyst, author, Amitabh Tiwari is with us as well. Yashwan Deshmukh, what I find interesting is that in Delhi, 48% of the respondents think Kejriwal overall has been arrested because of corruption. Outside Delhi, in the HSM markets where you did this poll, 39% say he's been arrested because of corruption. A simple reading of that data suggests at this moment, more people in the capital seem to think he's corrupt or he's been arrested because of actual corruption than those outside. That seems quite counterintuitive. That, yeah, that's right. That that uh, number actually caught my attention as well. But I then realized that uh, uh, Delhi electorate is actually more polarized on him than the electorates outside Delhi. So there is a significant number of uh, anti kejriwal pro-Congress vote in Delhi, Rahul. Uh, let's not forget that. Delhi is a triangular contest city and uh, Congress has been fighting tooth and nail with Kejriwal as well, even though they have gone ahead with the India alliance. But there are significant number of Congress voters and not to mention the Congress leaders. Amitabh Tiwari, is there easy to... transferability between AAP and Congress in Delhi? They've come together in alliance in the Lark Slok Sabha and I'll have that data up on your screen. Uh, the BJP is already 50% plus. So now that these two parties which have fought each other, the Congress voter, the Congress hardcore voter doesn't like AAP because the AAP government has been formed on top of the Congress. 
they basically demolish the Congress and come to power. In a Lok Sabha context, do you see transferability happen easily or do you think it will be very complex to ensure transferability even though the leaders have decided that seats can be distributed? It's, it's going to be complex because if it was an easy transferability in that way, Rahul, then, uh, then you know, the numbers of votes that Congress polls in assembly elections, a number of votes which Amarni polls in the Lok Sabha election would have been big zero. I so, mean, you're saying that transferability is election. complex. Amitabh Tiwari, my question to you is, does Kejriwal's arrest make it tougher for Congress voters to vote up? Do you see that play out or not really? See, I don't think transferability is, is tougher because of the high percentage of swing voters in Delhi. I mean, voters are swinging between a Vidhan Sabha and a Lok Sabha election. Even in the chart, if you see, 13% voters go back to Congress in a Lok Sabha election and 18% of that, that portion, or almost all of them, return to the Aam Aadmi Party in the Vidhan Sabha election because Aam Aadmi Party has grown at the expense of Congress. SC, minority, OBC voters, Punjabi, Khatri voters have shifted Let me from just Congress explain that data is, that you're talking that's about, that's about the, the swing of voters from one party to the other on the screen. What uh, Amitabh Tiwari is referring to is how there seems to be a high level of transferability between BJP voters in a Lok Sabha election and AAP voters in an assembly election. Now, how do we say this? Basically, if you look at the 2019 Lok Sabha elections and compare them with the 2015 assembly elections, AAP lost 36% vote. The Congress gained 13%. So 13% people who didn't vote for Congress in the Lok Sabha came back to the Congress. The BJP gained 25% of the vote. 25% extra vote over where they were in the last assembly election. The biggest loser was the Aam Aadmi Party. This is what happened in the 2019 Lok Sabha election. This is the last Lok Sabha election. Cut to 2020, the assembly election. There suddenly, and it almost seems it's usually not 36 down, 36 up. The transferability is never as obvious and as apparent. But in this case, it is. They went down 36%. Suddenly, the Aam Aadmi Party is up 36%. And this gain, comes almost equally from the Congress, which is losing 18% of people who voted for them in Lok Sabha have now gone to up, and 18% of BJP voters, this orange bar, voted for uh, the Aam Aadmi Party. So that essentially shows how votes have got uh, transferred from the Congress and the BJP to the AAP in uh, assembly context. But currently, we are focusing on the Lok Sabha, which is where AAP goes down, Congress comes up. Uh, just marginally, the biggest beneficiary, of course, is the BJP at 25. I want to go across to Jasmine Shah of the Aam Aadmi Party. His response to the first question. Uh, I hope you won't debunk the data itself because data is, uh, you know, to be taken at face value. And sometimes it's good, sometimes it's bad. At this moment, in response to the first question, what should concern you as an AAP leader is that 49 odd percent of the voters in Delhi think that he's been arrested because of corruption. Outside Delhi, the response is 39%. So that, you know, is quite stark that somehow at this moment in the context of a Lok Sabha election, the mood is not as pro as it is outside or the mood is not as anti outside India as it is in Delhi. Rahul, uh, I'm not going to debunk the data, but I will definitely share an alternate perspective because we have been meeting people on the ground. We have been uh, mobilizing for the mega rally of India Alliance on 31st. And there is an outpouring of sympathy. There is an outpouring of support for Arvind Kejriwal and AAP and many BJP voters because these are many BJP or Modi voters who vote for Mr. Modi in Lok Sabha, but they vote for Arvind Kejriwal and they've benefited from his policies. And to know that a sitting CM is put behind bars in a case where trial has not even begun, where there is no evidence, not a single rupee of money trail, but at the same time, money trail is found in BJP's accounts through a approver whose name is Sharat Chandra Reddy, which I'm sure BJP spokesperson will never respond to. So people know that there is a kind of a tamasha going on. The reason why this, and I actually request you, Rahul, that you carry out this poll a week again and you will see drastically different reason because this khulasa of Sharad Chandar Reddy and the real scam in the so-called Delhi liquor policy was not during the policy. It was after ED raided many people, got them to become approvers and then extorted money from them and put them into their account through electoral bonds. Now, the question that you asked, the reason why maybe, and, my, and this is my hypothesis, uh, Rahul, 
See, over the last two years, there has been a continuous propaganda exercise by the BJP. In the name of the liquor policy, what have they been doing? Someone issue karo. The moment ED issues someone, it is on the front pages of Delhi. So the propaganda machinery is hyperactive for the last two years. They are not hyperactive to spread the works of Mr. Modi, but they are hyperactive to assassinate the perception, to assassinate the character uh, of Ahmad Aadmi Party and Arvind Kejriwal. But at the end of the day, when the when the matter goes to trial, and I would say even before that, because the Sharad Chandra Reddy matter has just come out, and the manner in which people are reacting to these hard facts, these are not allegations. A kingpin of this uh, so-called Delhi scam has not given any money to us, but has donated 55 crores to BJP after arrest and after being released on bail by the ED. So, you know, sometimes okay. it's the, the truth is day, you know, white and black, and it's all come okay. out a few days back, and we will see it, uh, you know, play out in public perception also. I want to take this next question. Has uh, Kejriwal's image as an honest politician been damaged uh, by these charges and by his arrest? What do respondents say uh, to this question? I'll show you the Delhi data first. In Delhi, and uh, this is where Shazi Ailmi has a big smile on her face, 56% of the overall respondents, 60% of the NDA voters, and even 50% of opposition voters, 50% of opposition voters say yes, Kejriwal's image has been hurt by these charges. Uh, look at the national numbers now. So outside Delhi in the HSM markets, the national numbers, 51% of the overall voters, 49.3% of opposition voters and 53.9% of NDA voters. See, NDA voters naturally are going to say, ha, bhai, image kharab okay. the problem here and which is where, you know, uh, Jasmine refers to the propaganda machine of the BJP and how they've been at it with this charge, it seems to be hitting home. 49.3% Shazia of opposition voters all India and in Delhi 50.5% of opposition voters seem to think that this has indeed hurt Kejriwal's image as an op as an honest politician. Yes, this and more. So this all, all this started also when um, you know Manish Sisodia and, and after him Sanjay Singh got arrested. But even before that when Satyendra Jain was uh, arrested and that whole PWD scam and all that and what have you. So this has been going on for a while and there have been many, many charges against many of the MLAs. Now, but here's the real deal. And I think Delhi is the epicenter of Arvind Kejriwal's politics, of our Madhavi party. This is where it began. You know, the, it started with Jhadu and it seems to be ending with Daru. So I really think that when 46, 48% and 56%, uh, you know, respectively, answers to two different questions. When people believe that Kejriwal and the charges are sticking, that Kejriwal is corrupt and the charge is sticking, there is a lot of thinking to do. Now, confusing electoral bonds with kickbacks is again a very silly strategy and will not work because all that is post facto. Electoral bonds, we all know, are different. And this is a, uh, an investigation into excise policy or the Sharab Hotala, as we call it. Now, here the, fa the facts and figures are for everybody to see. Arvind may throw money, Sodia, and uh, Sanjay Singh under a bus and say, oh, a lot of people used to come to my uh, residence, residence of CM, and I don't know anything about it. But the fact of the matter is that whether it's a Sessions Court or the High Court or Supreme Court, Manish Sodia has not got bail. Satyendra Jain has not gone, got bail. Sanjay Singh has not gone bail, got bail. Whereas opposition leaders are concerned, all of them have got bail, starting from Tejasvi Yadav to Chidambaram to all others. So there is something to be said here about the courts and their functions. Okay, now, now the Jas Jasmine and Shah. No, no, let me, no, 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 yes. no, 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 let me finish. Let me okay, finish. okay, go on. Ten seconds more. And, and you know, the, the fact of the matter is that it's very easy to confuse the issue and talk about something that happened de facto. The whole case is not based on Sharat Reddy alone. There is C. Arvind, who was Manish Sisodia's PA. There is Samir Mahindru, the wholesale person, you know, wholesaler who got the L1 contract in this, and all the retailers, and many, many testimonies and 14 arrests. So it is a bit more complicated than, okay. you know, than pretending to throw it under, a carp uh, under the carpet and say, oh, push it under the carpet and say, Oh, it's all about uh, some Sharat Reddy and okay. uh, uh, electoral bonds. Okay, Jasmine, it's not really connected. Jasmine Shah, even if I ignore all the NDA voters, just leave them for the moment. In Delhi, 50.5% of opposition voters, 
seem to think that Kejriwal's image is an honest, because the whole thing was based on imandari and honesty. That his image, Halo, as an honest politician has been damaged. Even the opposition voters seem to be telling our pollster this. Rahul, so I am not going to, uh, you know, attack this data, but I do not agree with it. And that's what I will say that because uh, this is definitely not the perception in large segments of the population. And these are the people who have been witnessing this sham of a scam investigation that is going on. You know, Shazia today here can come and say that, Aray, aapko bail nahi mili. but the question is evidence kaha hai? Not a single rupee of money trail, not a single evidence. And there is no parallel in Indian history or maybe even in any respectful democracy that, you know, you put sitting politicians, national leaders behind jail without any evidence. Trial has not begun. Charged be file nahi hui hai. Lekin ek ek saal se aap jail mein dal rahe ho. Why? Because you have made the ED and the PMLA kanun so draconian. It was actually meant Rahul to fight narcotics and terrorists. Now today tell me, can Shazia name one drug smuggler or terrorist that is in the jail because of ED? No, she will not have any you answer. But if you ask how many Vipaks ke politicians you know, no, are in the jail, Manisha Sodia, Arvind Kejriwal. So the so purpose here is very clear. And why should we not ask you questions on Sharat Reddy? Sharat Reddy donated. Course, it was the course, it was the statement uh, of, of course, Sharath Reddy on the way. basis of which yes, Arvind Kejriwal yes, has been okay. arrested. And this Sharath Chaddi, it turns out, is a donor of BJP. Rahul, you should ask the question, how can you take money from a kingpin of the Sharab Ghotala, make him give a statement and then arrest the chief, a sitting chief minister? Okay, let uh, Shazia Elmi respond to this because this is an important question. The man and the viewers also need to understand this. On whose testimony Kejriwal has been arrested or is a part of the reason that he's no, been no, arrested? No, no, that is not true, Rahul. Part, you're pa part, no, part, it's a, it is no, part of the reason. It's Rahul, part, no, Sharat Reddy, Sharat Reddy, let, let, no, no. let, let me frame my question and then you respond. Part of the reason that he's been arrested is because the head of Aurobindo Pharma, who's part of the so-called so uh, South Lobby, who claimed that he paid uh, AAP leaders, including Kejriwal, he was actually one of the accused. He's now turned approver and Kejriwal and AAP, vote, uh, AAP lawyers are asking in, J uh, in court that if somebody is under duress and under cha facing charges, you get a confession Agreed. out of him, you can get yeah. him to say anything yeah. and he can say, Agreed. I have given so, Kejriwal. Ko Respond to what Jasmine yeah, Chai said. So, so, but uh, this diya, person, let's say Sharat Reddy, you're talking but about all the pharma. So, how do you explain, how do you explain the loss to the exchequer of excise when the sales and consumption went up? How do you explain the increase of commission of to the wholesaler for two Indo spirits from 6% to 12%? How do you explain now, now one 85% your jump of profiteering to private players? How do you no. expect? How so, do you Shazia, that's as far as the liquor no, policy is concerned. No, ma'am, no, no, ma'am, ma you're answering a different that's question. Why, no, just just hear what I'm saying. Shazia, I'm able to speak. Shazia, no, just listen to my question. No, once again. He no, no, just listen. Just no answer. Ma'am, listen. Ma'am, listen to my question. You're doing this again and again. Shazia, you're doing this again and again. Just listen to my question. I will... you, you are not. You are not. No, no, no. My, my question is this. Just allow me to ask my question so that, you, so that you answer the correct question. Now, after all these charges have been leveled, this particular liquor baron, stroke, uh, pharma giant goes out and buys electoral bonds, which are all for the BJP I was before that. I was answering yes, that. you haven't that come to this. Exactly what after I was after his Rahul, arrest, was, uh, he's only buying bonds for the BJP. Before his arrest, he's buying for others as well. Respond are, to this. Yes, Shazia. I'm answering that. I'm answering that exactly what I was going to answer. This is waste of footage okay. and all the time. I was going to say exactly that. So he electoral bonds are legit. They were struck as unconstitutional only a few weeks back. Electoral bonds are legit and they cannot be compared to kickbacks, which is actually the main allegation in the central, in this uh, excise policy, liquor policy uh, scandal. So let's not confuse the two. And even if he has, let's say that post facto, he was scared and he ended up buying it and he became informer. Let me tell you, which is exactly what I was trying to tell you, that the entire case is not based on one man's evidence. CM Arvind was Manish Sisodia's PA. The chief secretary was the one who flagged the issue. There were Congress leaders who flagged it and brought and talked about the irregularities of the case. So post facto, somebody can give money through electoral bonds, All which life. is actually money given through a check to the State Bank of India. So let's not confuse. It's your raita phelane ki or jalebi or imarti banane ki aadat hai na. Please, none of us will be fooled by that. Okay. So the fact so of the matter I, is, I, this is very different. Electoral bonds are different from Rishwat Khori. 
commission khori no but but it is intriguing it on is the basis of this, shazia ji you are no one second shazia ji about this k kavita the, the fact is before he's, he's arrested he's all, buying bonds for he's buying But bonds across parties yeah, after arrest he's buying all. bonds only for one party now boss i think that agreed, speaks for itself agreed, people agreed, will form agreed, their own so opinion you, on you that ask that agreed you can ask a question but you'll have to answer right you'll have to answer the question of what was vijay nair doing with samir mehru calling up arvind kejriwal why is k kavita in the south lobby there why was the policy made to tweak profit profiteers okay. why was the why was the government thrown under the bus and private vendors made to play all this happened post facto the okay so what I, what i'll do is we we'll we'll set up a separate psc yashwan deshmukh on electoral bonds i think there is enough meat there we need to do that separately but i want to come back to the data because otherwise we'll get caught on electoral bonds and we won't be able to show our viewers all the that is uh, what they're trying to do all the all the data sets that You've we have i want to come to the next question on what should kejriwal do now and i'll show you the responses in delhi should he resign as chief minister is it okay for him to run the government uh, from jail here are the responses these are responses remember from the capital itself here 47% say overall he should resign only 17% of opposition voters who've largely been unforgiving in the first few questions we put out only 17% say he should resign so opposition voters don't think he should resign 76% of opposition voters are saying jail se chalao government don't resign 76% are saying don't resign naturally amongst nda voters 71.2% are saying resign as chief minister 23% are saying run the government from jail here it looks as if it's divided between opposition and government and that division is very clear in the first few questions on whether his image has been hurt or why is he been arrested is it because of corruption uh, opposition and government or anti uh, uh, opposition and government voters seem to have different points of view okay now let's look at the all india data on what should kejriwal do 44% of overall voters say he should resign only 30% of opposition voters lesser number of opposition voters like we saw in delhi even all india only 30% of opposition voters say he should resign 62% of opposition voters say he should run the government from jail uh, amongst the nda voters of course it's quite predictable they want him to go and they don't want him to run the government from jail i want to go across to mudit agarwal uh, from the congress you've got an alliance with uh, the aam aadmi party in delhi in punjab the aap and the congress are principal opponents does that really make it complicated for people like you because you're not quite sure of what position to take you say something lovely say something sandeep dikshit say something and in punjab uh, the likes of a pratap bajwa and the others have to take a very different positions so the congress seems caught in a very bad space and I these are states they... which are very close to each other unlike west bengal and kerala which are quite far from each other geographically delhi and punjab are very close to each other in so many ways look <laughs> uh, uh, there's no confusion in congress as to what our stand is see as far as punjab is concerned we had taken a decision with aam aadmi party because we were number 1 and number 2 party there'll be better that we fight separately because if you fight together you ultimately give space to bjp and akali to grow there and that would not be a wise decision to take number 2 see what is very important right now is couple of things have happened over last one month one is the issue of electoral bonds which is completely exposed bjp to be one of the corrupt parties in the whole world is the biggest scam which india has seen number one second freezing of congress's accounts in which basically you are taking away the level playing field and almost crippling congress financially so that we cannot run a camp campaign third arrest of cms whether is mr kejriwal or whether is hemant soren so what people have started really questioning what this modi government is doing what people are seeing and this is reflected in what we talk in the ground what jashmin shah just spoke about what we are hearing from ground is very different tones what people are saying oh ye to kuch zyada ho raha hai so these three developments okay on so let yashwan deshmukh the, respond to what mudit is saying even jashmin said this can I, can I just, that they, the perception that they are picking up yashwan deshmukh just complete just just one second mudit the the perception that the likes of jashmin and mudit are picking up when they talk to people is that zyada ho raha hai and that this is not right your data even amongst opposition voters for most questions doesn't reflect that sympathy so why is there a discord between what you intuitively expect aap and congress voters to say and what your data is saying why is there a disparity disparity 
Yashwant, you're on mute. So, uh, so I think Rahul, there is no discrepancy, uh, a discrepancy in anywhere because simply uh, what what uh, uh, my friends from Congress and Amadi parties are saying, there is some truth to that element as well. When you ask this question, whether it is being done in the right perspective, whether BJP is doing it for political benefit or vindictiveness, big number of people say yes. But at the same time, big, uh, same number of people also say that yes, his uh, uh, image has taken a hit. So I don't think people are not looking into this black and white. People are saying, I mean, you know, a big number of even BJP supporters have started to saying that yet, yet the ED and the other agencies are okay. being so. Let me show that response gain. now. Let me let me show that response now. The question is. Is the Modi government misusing central agencies against the opposition? So let's now suddenly Jasmine is excited. He says, "Yeah, tell us. Now let's see what they say." Okay, so here it is. First, I'll show you the responses. I said earlier in Delhi, the response in Delhi is 46% of the voters in Delhi say uh, yes. The Modi government is using central agencies against the opposition. 41.6% uh, say no. They don't see this as being political. Amongst opposition voters, massive skew. 74% say yes, agencies are being misused. No say only 15%. Amongst NDA voters, 62% say no, 25.1% uh, say yes. But the large number, 46.1% say yes, Delhi Modi government is using central agencies against the opposition. Let's now come to the next question. The next question is uh, how this question is perceived in other parts of the country. So is the Modi government using central agencies against the opposition? 49% say yes. You know, this is again interesting. The mood pan India, slightly more pro Kejriwal than it is in Delhi. Now, Jasmine Shah and Aap will wonder, is that a good thing or a bad thing? Their voters are here, but the mood is better outside from their perspective. Well, there's more sympathy outside Delhi than there is inside Delhi. No say 36%. And naturally amongst the opposition voters, 60% say yes, the government is misusing agencies, 25% say no. Now, uh, Shazia Ilmi, you must respond to this. 46% of voters pan India, 46% of voters in Delhi and 49% of voters pan India, regardless of political affiliation, seem to think that the Modi government is misusing central agencies against opposition parties and leaders. So I have a few friends across the parties and let me be honest with you, I have Congress leaders secretly and Congress voters are secretly very happy because it is Kejriwal grew, Amadi party grew at the expense of uh, Congress and they've been, they've gobbled up the, the Congress uh, vote share, uh, you know. So I think uh, that where that goes, I, I, I'm not surprised at all that there is You're some trying to get them to fight. Let me ask so, that question to Mudit. So, Mudit, no, no, Shazia no, no, says secretly you're happy. Not just... Is that true? <laughs> secretly <laughs> you're happy that Kejriwal and Aap are no, in a no. mess because ultimately their whole success is based on the Congress's and failure. Who's a bigger enemy? Just understand they something know, about democracy. Let, let Mudit yeah, respond yeah, to that. Is the Congress no, secretly no. happy with the mess that Kejriwal finds himself in? Mudit Agarwal. Congress can never be happy if there's a rise of authoritarian forces in India. We are true Democrats and we stand with democracy. What is happening to India right now, rise of authoritarianism, where people's rights no are being taken please. away, no, no, where please. elected where chief ministers are being put in jail, Congress is against it. And we are with the opposition, with India Alliance in and endeavor to throw out this Modi government. You see, the other thing what people are not recognizing it, when you combine all these questions about electoral bond, uh, arresting chief ministers, freezing of accounts, and if you ask people, you will find overwhelmingly that people are against Modi government. Even between NDA voters, you will see whether you ask them whether the Modi government has been vindictive or they are misusing a thumb, misusing agencies. Okay. Anywhere from so actually, I, I, people I haven't asked India that question. We will ask against their own government. We, in this we case. will ask that question, that but so far, telling. so far we haven't asked that question. But that again is something we will work on. I want to go across to Amitabh Tiwari. What do you make of 46 versus 42? Uh, in Delhi, is the Modi government misusing agencies? And nationally, 49 versus 36. Yes, say 49. No, say 36. It does suggest that half the voters think that agencies are being misused, but almost half say no, they are not being misused. So, what do you? How do you interpret this? 
So actually, the Delhi number is fairly close, but the All India number, there are uh, significantly higher number of people are saying. That Why is there more sympathy for Kejriwal outside Delhi than there is in Delhi? How do you interpret that? I think this question is an overall question and not linked to Kejriwal's sure, sure, only. Sure, sure, Yes. But the fact mat, uh, fact of the matter is that if this question was asked before Kejriwal's arrest, this may not have been the result, I feel. Because it's a battle of narrative eventually. And whatever said and done, the Aam Army Party's messaging, communication and research is much sharper than all other opposition parties. Do you so think Aam has done a narrative. good job? No, once again. Do you think uh, as a political strategist in the way that they're trying to fight back, do you think they've done a good job or is BJP winning the battle of narrative? Oh, see, they are doing a good job. The, that is clear from the f fact that they have raised a point of the electoral bond uh, uh, purchased by an approver. And that is perhaps being reflected in the numbers as well. And even if you see the first question... No, but do voters understand all, all these... Well, when some, you know, show Yashwant also. Suddenly somebody in the middle of the day, you are doing something, somebody from his team calls. At that moment, do they understand this level of complexity that there is an approver, he's bought bonds for the uh, BJP? Because they understand Mota Mota, no, Upar Upar. Do they understand this? Who, do, 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 how many know who's Sharad uh, Reddy? Who, what is Aurobindo Pharma? It's not like it's Pfizer or... You know, one of the really big companies, uh, like the ones that the Punawala has run. Do they understand this level of complexity, Amitabh Tiwari, when a poll is being done? That's See, because we have it has today. been, the Ahmadni party has been hitting this very clearly from day one. It does seem to resonate with the voters. And as I, again, I repeat that the Ahmadni party's communication and campaign management is fairly better than... Yashwan, do you buy that? No, because if what he was saying was true, then so many opposition voters wouldn't be thinking that Kejriwal's image has been hit, that Kejriwal should step down, uh, that uh, this is actually evidence of the fact that he's corrupt. So, while Amitabh Tiwari is saying what he is, how do you interpret this, Yashwan Deshmukh? One line, one line. Okay. Not every opposition voter is a Kejriwal supporter, Rahul. And not every BJP voter is a Kejriwal hater. Let's understand, because Kejriwal happens to be only only phenomena in Indian politics who carries around anti-BJP and anti-Congress votes both along with him. So when we look into the national numbers, that is also because of the fact that so many of the other uh, opposition leaders have been at the uh, uh, other end of the ED, far end of the ED, yeah, across almost all the states. So there is an emotion or sentiment of a big number of opposition voters across the country that their leaders are being targeted. And also the fact, like for example, I heard that uh, just recently that the cases against Mr. Praful Patel, which have been, that case has been stopped in that way. So there is also a narrative of sort, even in sometimes in a very amusing way, that, you know, anybody who is joining the BJP, the cases stop. Anybody who is not joining the BJP is the case. So this has been going around for quite some time and it is gaining ground. Okay. Uh, Jasmine Shah, do you, you accept this theory that this is basically a battle of narratives? Because the legal battle will say, take so long by the time there's actually a judgment, which ultimately, whether it results in conviction or acquittal, we don't know. At this moment, it's about the Lok Sabha elections. After that, the assembly election. Abhi to mahal banao, narrative banao. Try and win the battle of perception. Is that what this is about? Absolutely. That's what it is about. At this point, no, no, about no. both. It is about Jasmine. what is true and it is about communicating that truth to the people, Rahul. It is about both the things. It's about knowing what is true and it's about communicating it. You asked, but logo ko ye kaise samaj aayega? Thankfully, we have a Rahul Kamwal, we have an India Today, we have many good channels who are willing to show the truth. The fact that there is a Sharat Reddy who was called the kingpin uh, by ED only of this so-called Sharab Ghotala, jisse chai baar puchha gaya ki Arvind Kejriwal ko jante hu, he says, no, mene to kabhi mila hi nahi hu. But suddenly when he gets the bail, he turns an approval and says ki mujhe yaad a gaya. And, uh, and after that, he donates 55 crores. So these points today and... You know, it is not being reflected probably in your data, which I just said earlier. Because it has come 3-4 days ago. Okay. So now, it's two months ago, Rahul. Now, you... By that time, the water of water, water of water, will be the same way on the road and on the road. Shazia, you've been in the app. You know that when it comes to communications, they're definitely sharper than the Congress, right? Maybe not necessarily at the level of the BJP, but sharper yeah. than the Congress for sure. The argument that yeah, Jasmine no, for, makes for sure. is that we've got for, two months. Jab tak Delhi mein vote hoga, tab tak hum mahal bana denge. We'll explain who the Sharad so, Reddy is and how he didn't know Kejriwal after becoming approver, he suddenly is buying bonds only for the no, BJP. So, so optics matter, definitely. And when people learn that during COVID epidemic, Kejriwal was actually using Sarkari paisa and, and government money 
to furbish his house and used 70 crores. Oh, I mean, his image was dented in a very big way. So every time they said, and people played again and again, you see the kind of uh, Arvind Kejriwal's bias that are being used when he used to say, we will not take any bangla, we will not take any security, we are not here to, do, uh, to take salaries. So all that is being used and people remember it. People don't have such a short memory. So narrative matters. Here is a man who spoke about uh, big anti-corruption. Here is a man who had people who who, who said things against uh, Lalu Prasad Yadav and uh, Praful Patel and Sharad Pawar and Rahul Gandhi. And here is a man who's using all of them to come defend him on the stage. And you know who are his biggest supporters now, but not quite. If you see any of the protests, none of the parties have really joined in. Because people will not forget how Arvind Kejriwal belittled them, mocked them, and uh, vilified them. Okay. So that I want to come to the, the next question. Who will benefit from Kejriwal's arrest? Okay. So let's look at the responses to this question first in Delhi and then Pan India. Uh, AAP and the India Alliance will get sympathy, say 31% of the overall voters. The Modi government gets sympathy for its war on graph, say 48% of the respondents. Amongst opposition voters, 43% say AAP will get sympathy and the India Alliance will get sympathy. Modi will get support for graph, say 39. That's as far as the mood in Delhi is concerned. Now let's look at the mood pan India. 39.2% uh, of the overall voters say AAP and India Alliance will get support. Now interestingly, and this thread has emerged in question after question, in Delhi, only 31% of the voters said that AAP and India Alliance will get sympathy. <coughs> Across the rest of the country, 39% say the same thing. So, an 8% gap. 8% more people sympathetic towards India and Alliance, uh, India Alliance and the AAP outside Delhi than they are in Delhi. That is, for me, at least from my lens, something which is very, very interesting and intriguing. 42% uh, of the respondents say Prime Minister Modi will get support for the war on graft uh, and 53.5% of NDA voters say Modi government will get support for its war on graft. I want to go across to Yashwan Deshmukh once again. The mood pan-India more sympathetic towards AAP and the India alliance on this question of uh, whether he'll get sympathy than it is in Delhi. Is that a good thing for AAP or a bad thing? If it's about winning moral battles, then it's a good thing because you win a moral fight, right? But if it's about actual votes, your voters are here, your own voters seem more irked than people who are never going to vote for you. Well, yeah, it's quite intriguing and interesting at the same time, Rahul, because, uh, you know, uh, the, the Aam Aadmi Party support base or vote bank is uh, completely made up of uh, what you can say is the ex-Congress vote bank. So, obviously, Congress and the AAP support base is at loggerheads as far as Delhi is concerned. But outside Delhi, some of the rest of the opposition leaders and their support bases, they see Amadi Party or the case of Arvind Kajriwal as their uh, as a cause to, 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 to say something or make something out of it because their vote banks are not contradicting to each other. So there is a better gelling of the opposition votes on this issue outside Delhi, but within Delhi, where AAP and the uh, Congress vote banks are at the loggerheads, at crossroads, at contradiction with each other, there is a different kind of a scene. You in know, Delhi. Shazia would probably be happy. कि जिसने वोट नहीं देना वो जो मर्जी सोचे क्या फर्क पड़ता है जिसने वोट देना है वो खिलाफ है because Jasmine Shah is wondering should I be happy should I be unhappy but Shazia would largely be happy CM of New Delhi right yes he's a CM of Delhi right and Delhiites have been the victims of Kejriwal's politics his flip flopping his mercurial methods and now corruption it's all for everybody to see so this is very damning I feel it's a huge indictment. And I think if, if he loses ground here and his credibility uh, is reduced, I think it impacts his politics in a big way. How do you, how do you now mobilize your voters and your cadres? Uh, will they be, if the credibility runs low, I mean, how do you, how do you go ahead with this? Okay. Because this was your, your current movie. Something. This is your epicenter. This is where your, your voters and your strength ja comes from. Jasmine Shah, how do you see this? This Dharati doesn't believe in it. In the, voter, in the universe of voters who are not supposed to vote for you, because that's pan-India, not Delhi. You're largely a Delhi-Punjab, to some extent, Gujarat phenomena. In the universe of voters where AAP is not directly on the ticket, there is more sympathy for you than there is in the universe of voters who are supposed to vote for you. This is how do you see it? Uh, Rahul... <laughs> 
No, Raul, I think there is there is something off about this data. As I said, what we are seeing on the ground is completely different. But I find it very funny that today Shazia Ilmi is worried about what will happen to your cadre? How will you take the voters on the ground? Pe voter ko kaise leke uh, I will only request Shazia that you, know, you should now be worried about the clear perception that is forming in the minds of BJP voters. Our voters are not going anywhere. They know that Arvind Kejriwal has done the school, that's why he's in jail. He's made a mohla clinic, that's why he's in jail. He's giving free bijli, that's why he's in jail. Mein hai. Modi ji will never do this. But your voters are asking, that's why we gave Modi ji a vote, that all the Vipaksh ki neta ko jail. Mein do. Ek farji kar you know, diya, no where you have no evidence. Going. Your own donor is giving a statement. And then you are imprisoning Arvind Kejriwal. Have you delivered on today, uh, Rahul? It is the eve of election. BJP, are they talking about the work that they have done? Are they talking about schools, education, healthcare? No. They are talking about today's ED ki raid. Today, today's Goa's Aam Aadmi Party unit has been raided. Today, I believe uh, uh, CM Pinarayi Vijayan's daughter has been uh, summoned or raided. What is happening in the country? Is this how Mr. Modi wants to build his narrative to the people and to BJP voters? I think you need to be worried about the fact that today BJP voters feel enough is enough. We need to put a stop to this dictatorial regime. How do you and know what BJP voters feel? Sanity in our democracy. Sir, if you say this is what our you know, voters Jasmine, feel. I'm very happy you're not a pilot, you know. I'm so glad because you clearly don't know the direction. You know, you're supposed to fly somewhere to one direction and you just take it somewhere else. You know, Jana tha, Japan pahunch gaye, Chin samaj lena. So don't do that. Stick to the question. Don't run away. I mean, you know, you can't fool all the people all the time. You know Delhi is a nerve center. You know you've lost credibility. You know it's Delhi voters which have made you who you are. Uh, and you know the, your basic principal challenger is BJP because uh, Congress has come to terms with you in, in, in Delhi. And Congress deep down hates you. It's just that BJP is a bigger enemy. So you also know that. And everybody knows that. Let's not pretend and mince words here. For heaven's sake. The entire excise ghotala, this entire thing was flagged first by Congress. So Mudit also knows that, but poor thing doesn't know what to say. Can I add something about Delhi? Yeah? Yes, Mudit, say, are you? Are, <laughs> you know, Mudit, are you concerned I mean, that you are getting that you are getting washed out in this battle between AAP and the BJP? <laughs> So let's understand this. AAP is our alliance partner in Delhi, number one. Look at the vote percentage of BJP in last MCD and uh, Assembly election. They got 40% in both elections. But it is also true in 2019 parliament election. Hold on, hold on. Parliament election, they got 55% vote. And one of the reasons was they could in increase their vote was because there was no alliance between our party and Congress. So people thought that uh, neither our party nor Congress uh, candidates are going to win. But this time, Even it is with the combined if you, if you, vote share, BJP Shazia was Ji, Can you give me just two minutes to complete and then you can just say what you want to say? So when you go on the ground right now, there's complete synergy between both parties. Both of them, we are fighting a bigger evil, which is Mr. Modi. We are fighting an authoritarian regime. And this has sunk in in all the cadres of Congress as well as our party. And this complete synergy on the ground and BJP is in for run for their money and we will probably okay. win seven seats so in there. I, I, I want to show up uh, well, once again. I, 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 right now. That's what you're saying. Let's look at the data. Can we just have the vote share worm, please? I just want to show up viewers. If even if there is seamless transferability, by which I mean that every voter of the Congress is willing to vote for an AAP candidate if an AAP candidate is sitting, is standing on that seat, and every voter of the Aam Aadmi Party is willing to vote for uh, the Congress candidate if a Congress candidate is fighting on that seat. Then what's the scenario? In the last Lok Sabha elections, uh, there was 41% vote share that the AAP and the Congress had. The BJP had 57. Remember when I interviewed the Home Minister at uh, the Conclave, that's what he said. We're already above 57. So it doesn't matter what happens. Even if there is perfect transferability, they're only at 41. The problem for the BJP would be that if the image is not like this, if it is lesser, because in 2014, uh, the BJP had 46% of the vote share. At that time, the Congress and the AAP together, if there was seamless transferability, had 48. So if it's 48 versus 46, that's a tight battle because even if there is some fragmentation, it is still close. But if it is 57 uh, versus 41, then it doesn't matter. Even if there's perfect transferability, it makes no difference. Amitabh Tiwari, how do we gauge before the 4th of June when we'll ultimately know, what's your best sense? Looking at past data, 
how much transferability is there likely to be and is the BJP 50 plus on most seats? If it is, then it doesn't matter what AAP and Congress do, it's game over already. It all depends upon the amount of swing which the Ahmadni Party and the Congress Party are able to get from the BJP or the amount of sympathy and how much votes they are able to pull. To pull. Like we've seen uh, uh, in the earlier uh, PSC, if they are able to pull 6%, because BJP is not 50% plus on all seats. So if they are able to pull 6%, then they will be able to win or they are likely to be able to win two seats. So it becomes 5-2. However, as you are seeing, that in the all the questions, it seems to be good news for the opposition versus Delhi. However, we have to keep in mind that the proportion of BJP or NDA votes at a pan-India level is only 43-45%, whereas in Delhi, the proportion of NDA votes is 57% in a Lok Sabha election. That is why we are seeing the difference. And the first question also, I think, will be worrisome for the BJP because only 48% people are saying that uh, uh, Kejriwal has been arrested because he is corrupt. One fifth of NDA supporters also saying that it is vindicative or uh, because he has emerged as a threat to the BJP, whereas the vote share of BJP is 57%. So it already indicates a swing away from the BJP on the corruption plank if, if this question is taken into consideration. So it all depends upon that. Okay. So there are some interesting themes, Yashwan Deshmukh, that we've picked up for the next uh, PSE. There is electoral bonds, there's president's rule, there are cases on BJP leaders uh, or non-BJP leaders who joined the BJP. So there's enough material. The good thing about election season is that there is just so much flow of information, so many issues. So the worrying has to be done by the likes of Jasmine, Mudit and Shazia. If you have no skin in the game yourself, you know, we have to eat them too, they have to eat So it doesn't really matter who ultimately wins. But if you have no skin in the game, there's a lot of interesting analysis, insights and data crunching that you can do, which is what we hope to do on the political stock exchange. The netas can fight it out, duke it out, try and win the narrative convince voters we'll just sit back and do the commentary and give you the analysis so we'll be back with the next political stock exchange i hope you enjoyed this much uh, this one thank you very much yashwant and the sea voter team uh, for that uh, data compilation for us we'll keep doing this we'll slip into a break i'll have more for you when we come back on the other side stay with us has he been arrested as an act of political vendetta or has he been arrested because people think he's actually corrupt? So this is the first time we'll try and put some data based on the opinion of voters to the questions that have been swirling in the air since the time the Delhi Chief Minister was arrested. Let me take the first question uh, on this week's edition of the Political Stock Exchange. This is data by the polling agency C-Voter. Uh, I want to go across and show you, remember, every response set in this particular edition of the PSE is based uh, on two parts. The first part deals with responses in the capital and the second part deals with responses pan India. So it's first part just gives you a sense of the mood in the capital and the second part gives you the national picture. So here's the first question. What do you make of Kejriwal's arrest? Why do you think he's been arrested? 47.8% of the Delhi voters think he's been arrested because he was corrupt, because of an act of corruption. That is, if you're, a, if you're an AAP supporter, a very alarming number, 48% of the respondents say he's been arrested because they actually think that there is a linkage to corruption. Uh, how many people think this is because the the Prime Minister Modi and his government have a vindictive policy towards the opposition? 30% of the respondents, 3 in 10 say it's because the Modi government is vindictive towards the opposition. The AAP says because Kejriwal is emerging as a real threat to the BJP and to Prime Minister Modi. That's the response of only 16.3% of uh, the respondents. Now, interestingly, naturally, when you look within opposition voters, those who think he's been arrested because of corruption is much lesser, only 17.1%. Uh, opposition voters, 50% of them think he's been arrested because Modi government is vindictive. 30% think because he's emerging as a threat to Modi. Amongst NDA voters, naturally, there's an anti Kejriwal skew. So that's the telly picture. Now, let's look at the pan India picture. On your screen now, responses outside Delhi. 38.8% of overall respondents, pan India, think he's been arrested because of corruption. And this is what I find intriguing. 
At this moment, according to the Sea Water data, there are 10 percent extra people in Delhi who think he's been arrested because of corruption than they are outside. The outside number is 39 percent. In Delhi, the number is 48 percent. So that's a gap, which means his perception, according to this data, in the capital on the issue of corruption is worse than it is outside India. 32 uh, percent think it's because Modi government follows a vindictive policy against the opposition, and 19 percent think uh, Kejriwal is emerging as a threat to Prime Minister Modi. So interestingly, on all these responses. Uh, there's a slight difference, with the biggest difference being that more people in Delhi think that it's because of corruption than those outside. Outside, the image is more favorable than it is in the capital. With that first response, let me introduce you to our panelists. Yashwal Deshmukh has a lot of answering to do on these numbers. He's the lead cephalogist, the director at Sea Water. It's his chair, team that did these numbers for us. So Yashwal, welcome. With us Sunita also Keshriwal is Jasmine Shah, Chief National Spokesperson of the Aam Aadmi Party. Soon after this video was filmed, welcome back, Jasmine. Once again, Shahzia in me knows a thing or two about the Aam Aadmi Party. He's a part of the movement, the party, and now National Spokesperson of the Bharatiya Janata Party, representing the Congress in Delhi. He's its spokesperson, Mudi Tagarwal, and. Political analyst, even as a husband, author, quickly Amita climbed the political ladder. Is with us She's as been well. seen in some yes, election rallies, even campaigning recently for Bhagwan Khan during the 2022 Punjab election. What I find interesting is that in Delhi, 48 percent of respondents think Kejriwal has been arrested because of corruption. Delhi, in the Aam Aadmi Party, and has never been in the political spotlight until now. Outside Delhi, in the HSM until markets, when you did now. this poll. 39% say he's been arrested because of corruption. On a, a simple reading of that data minutes, suggests at this moment Sunita more Kejriwal people in the capital seem to think he's corrupt or he's been arrested because of actual corruption than those outside. That, that seems quite counterintuitive. The political yeah, yeah, that's right. That, that uh, number actually the got Amane my attention as so well. But I then realized that uh, uh, was the Delhi electorate is actually more polarized on him than the electorates outside Delhi. But will Kejriwal so do a lalu if he gets no legal relief in the legal camp? The Delhi chief minister has two options. Let's One, not forget to follow that. Lalu, Delhi is a triangular contest city and uh, Congress has been fighting tooth and nail with Kejriwal as well. Even though they have gone ahead with the India alliance. But they are in 2014, when she was arrested in the case, appointed her political I mean, leader. Is, is there easy transferability the between AAP and Congress in Delhi? They've come together and in the last stroke to to have that data to chief on your minister. screen. Uh, the BJP is already 50% plus. The for her so husband, now that these two parties, case, which have fought each other, the him. Congress voter, the but Congress now, hardcore voter doesn't like AAP because the AAP government is being formed to on chest. top of the Congress. They basically demolish the Congress and come to power. In a Lok Sabha context, do you see transferability happen easily or do you think it will be very complex to ensure transferability even though the leaders have decided that seats can be distributed? It's, it's going to be complex because if it was an easy transferability in that way, Rahul, then, uh, then you know, the numbers of votes that Congress votes in assembly elections, the number of votes in Amarmi votes in the Lok Sabha election would have been, been zero. So, you're saying that transferability is complex. Amitabh Tiwari, my question to you is, does Kejriwal arrest make it tougher for Congress voters to vote up? Do you see that play out or not really? See, I don't think transferability is, is tougher because of the high percentage of swing voters in Delhi. I mean, voters are swinging between a Vidhan Sabha and a Lok Sabha election. Yes, Even right. in the chart, if you see, 13% so voters in go back India, to Congress India, in a Lok Sabha right? election, um, and 18% of, of that, that portion, in India. almost all of them, return to the Aam Aadmi Party in the Vidhan Sabha election because Aam Aadmi Party has grown at the expense of Congress. SC, minority, OBC voters, Punjabi, Khatri voters have shown that the Aam Aadmi Party has grown at the expense of Congress. that you are talking about the swing of voters from I'm one party to the other on the screen. What so uh, Amitabh Tiwari is referring um, to is how to me and there seems to be a high level of transferability also for between BJP voters in a Lok Sabha election uh, and our voters in an assembly election. Now, how do we say this? Basically, if you look at the 2019 Lok Sabha like elections and compare them with the 2015 assembly elections, our lost 36% vote. 
the Congress mm. gained 13%. I think, yeah, so 13% I think that's people who didn't the vote movie, for Congress in the Lok Sabha came back to the Congress. The BJP gained 25% of the vote. 25% and, uh, extra vote over where they were in the last assembly election. The biggest loser was the Aam Aadmi Party. This is what happened in the 2019 Lok Sabha election. This is the last Lok Sabha election. Cut to 2020, the assembly election. There suddenly, and it almost seems it's usually not 36 down, 36 up. The transferability is never as obvious and as apparent. But in this case, it is. They went down 36%. Suddenly, their Aam Aadmi Party is up 36%. And this gain on your comes social almost media, you're equally from uh, the Congress, which is losing 18% of people who voted for the them number one rule you now going to pay attention to. And 18% of BJP voters, this I admitted, I was voted fat. for uh, the Aam Aadmi Party. So that essentially shows in the how biggest mistake votes have got uh, uh, transferred from the Congress and the BJP to the Aam in an assembly context. But currently, we are focusing on the Lok Sabha which is where AAP goes down, Congress comes up. Uh, just marginally, the biggest beneficiary, of course, is the BJP at 25. I want to go across to Jasmine Shah of the Aam Aadmi Party. His response to the first question. Uh, I hope you won't debunk the data itself, because data is, uh, you know, to be taken at face value, and sometimes it's good, sometimes it's bad. At this moment, in response to the first question, what should concern you, as an AAP leader, is that 49 odd percent of the voters in Delhi think that he's been arrested because of corruption outside Delhi? The response is 39 percent. So that, you know, is quite stark that somehow, at this moment, in the context of a Lok Sabha election, the mood is not as pro as it is outside, or the mood is not as anti outside India as it is in Delhi. Rahul, uh, I'm not going to debunk the data, but I will definitely share an alternate perspective because we have been meeting people on the ground. We have been uh, mobilizing for the mega rally of India Alliance on 31st. And there is an outpouring of sympathy. There is an outpouring of support for Arvind Kejriwal and AAP. And many BJP voters, because by these are many JK BJP or Modi voters who vote for Mr. Mr. Modi in Lok Sabha, but they vote for Arvind Kejriwal and they've benefited from his policy. And to specialist. know that a sitting CM is put behind bars in a case where trial has not even begun, where there is no evidence, not a single rupee of money trail, but at the same time, money trail is found in BJP's accounts. Through Good evening, a, a and welcome you all with the news today, Sharat your prime time I'm sure BJP news, will never respond to. So people know that there is a kind of a tamasha going on. The, the reason why this, and I actually Jiwal request you around that you carry right out this poll this a week again, and you will see drastically different reason, because this Kulasa of Sharat Chandar Reddy and the real scam in the so-called Delhi liquor policy was not during the, the policy, it was after he, he raided many people, story. got also, them to become approvers and then extorted money from tonight. them and put them into the accounts to electoral bonds. Now, the political question that you ask, Prime the reason Minister why Modi, maybe, Manika and, my, and this is my hypothesis, Rahul, See, is the over the last two years, there has been a We're continuous propaganda exercise by the BJP. Supreme in the name Bar of the liquor policy, heads, what have they been doing? Summon issue karo. The moment the media issue summon, it is on the front pages of Delhi. So the propaganda no machinery is hyperactive for the last two years. They are not hyperactive to spread the works of Mr. Modi, but they are hyperactive to assassinate the perception, to assassinate the character of Aam Aadmi Party and Arvind Kejriwal. But at the end of the day, when the matter goes to trial, and I would say even before that, because the Sharad Chandra Reddy matter has just come After out, the United and States the manner in which demand for a people are reacting to Arvind these Kejriwal hard facts, these are not allegations. A kingpin of the uh, so-called Delhi scam has not given any money to AAP, but has donated 55 crores to BJP after arrest and after being released on bail by the ED. So, you know, sometimes now, it's the, the truth is they, you know, white and black, and open. it's all come okay. out a few days back, and we will see it uh, you know, play out in public perception also. I want to take India this next question. Has uh, Kejriwal's image as an honest politician been damaged uh, by his charges and by his arrest? What do respondents say uh, to this question? I'll show you the Delhi data first. In Delhi, and uh, this is where Shazi Aini has a big smile on her face. 56% of the overall respondents, 60% of the NDA voters, and even 50% of opposition voters. 50% of opposition voters say yes, Kedriwal has been hurt by these charges. Uh, look at the national numbers now. So outside Delhi in the HSM markets, the national numbers, 51% of the overall voters, 49.3% of opposition voters, 
and 53.9 percent of NDA voters. See, NDA voters that you would want to say, ah, my image is bad. The problem here, and which is where you know, just being refers to the propaganda machine of the BJP and how they be actively discharged. It seems to be hitting home. 49.3 percent Shazia of opposition voters all India and in Delhi 50.5 percent of opposition voters seem to think that this has indeed hurt Kejriwal's image as an as an honest politician. Big breakthrough in the yes, Bengaluru this cafe and more. last so this all, all this started also key when, conspirator you know, after Manish Sodia and, and after him Sanjay Singh got arrested. But even before that, when Satinder Jain was arrested, and then there was a scam and all that, and what happened. So this has been going on for a while, and there have been many, many charges against many of the enemies. Now, but here's the real deal. And I think Delhi is the center of our attitude to the Delhi Chief Minister. This is where it began. 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 You know, the, today. With Delhi Chief Minister was remanded to four-day more so ED really custody until the 46, 1st of April. But Kejriwal came out fighting today, defending uh, you know, himself personally in court. He questioned the enforcement watchdog, challenged it to prove where the Kejriwal money trail was. The the Delhi Chief there Minister also raked up and approved us electoral bond donation to the BJP, claiming that there was a direct link between the approval and the money that had gone into the BJP. Bonds, all all of and this that is, a, is leading to plenty of political rumble. Policy. Or that is our Kutala top story as today point. as we now, look at what the happened facts and in the of court everybody to see. today. Arvind may throw money to Sohya and uh, Sanjay Singh under a bus and say, oh, now the people used to come the to Chief my residence. The Chief Minister of Delhi presented his case in person while agreeing to the enforcement director's request for remand. The CM aimed to mount a strong defence, accusing the investigating agency of unjustly targeting him without solid evidence and trying to undermine his Ahmadi party. He labelled the liquor policy Starting case the as a politically motivated scheme. So there is something to be said here about the court system. Okay. Okay. No, 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 yes, 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 yes. Okay, the prosecution okay, dismissed the arrested leader's and, and allegations, you know, the, the requesting his custody to question him alongside other suspects in the Delhi liquor policy case. The, case the PMLA court granted the ED's request, extending his custody by four days. बताया डिटेल में कि मेरे खिलाफ क्या एविडेंस है और कोई एविडेंस नहीं है गवाह का बयान है जैसे भी है उसके बाद आखिर में उन्होंने कहा कि मैं पुलिस डिपार्ट को ऐसा तो कोई नहीं करता हूं जितना भी आप ये चाहे मेरे को कस्टडी में रख सकते हैं मैं पूरा स्टेटमेंट सेक्शन 50 में ईडी ने एक ही आदमी से ली है Rahul, so I'm not going to, uh, you know, attack this data, but I do not agree with it, and that's what I will say that because uh, this is definitely not the perception in large segments of the population, and these are the people who have been witnessing this sham of a scam investigation that is going on. You know, Shah Jahan today here can come and say that I have no evidence, but the question is, evidence is where? Not a single rupee of money drain, not a single evidence, and there is no parallel in India. Or maybe even in any respectful democracy, that you know you put sitting politicians, national leaders behind jail without any evidence. Trial has not begun. Charge is being filed. But one year since you have been in jail, why? Because you have been in jail. The bench refrained from commenting on the merits of the issue, which it noted were beyond the scope of judicial interference. It was actually meant to be filed for narcotics and terrorists. Now today, tell me, can Shahjahan name one drug smuggler or terrorist that is in the jail because of ED? No, she will not have any answer. So let's turn to my first. Who's been captured in the Tamil Nadu Singhvi has been fighting for her in Kejriwal in the Delhi High Court. What case really does he have? Appreciate Shah Jahan is there, Dr. Singhvi. It was the statement. I want to understand from you, Dr. Singhvi. You've been an eminent parliamentarian for years. Now, you're not in the capacity as a lawyer. 
Rahul, you should ask the question. How can you take money from a kingpin of the Sharaf Kotala, make him give a statement, and then arrest the chief of sitting chief minister? Let Shazia Almi respond because this is an important question. The man and the viewers also need to understand this. On whose testimony Kejriwal has been arrested? But you seem to be questioning the fact that the enforcement directorate has arrested Almi Kejriwal just before the general elections. That this is time with the electoral cycle, and that's part of the reason he's been arrested. Is because you seem the head to be of Arvind Farma, who's part of the so-called so South Lobby, who claimed that he paid uh, up leaders, uh, Rajdeep, including Kejriwal, he is was actually one of the accused. He's now turned up over, and Kejriwal and our uh, 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 lawyers are asking in, not J, uh, in court that if the somebody is under duress and under facing charges, you get a confession out of him. You can get him to say anything, and he can say, "I paid Kejriwal for money." I Respond spent exactly yeah, about 45 minutes to 50 minutes so, arguing. So, but uh, one so one out, of out of 10 arguments of mine. I repeat, one out of 10. What about the timing? So how do you explain? How it was to just the loss recall and recall to the without being technical about the basic structure level playing field. How do you explain the it increase of commission It was about a summons, uh, sorry, a case of August 2022, how do you explain now, which betrays a complete of lack of necessity to, to arrest in March 2024. The case we started then. No, ma'am. The ma third and fourth arguments were question. about just the, just the fact Shazia, that the material on record shows that nothing which can be done without arrest has happened necessitating taking him into custody. He's available for everything, but in a half year of the past, there is no need to arrest. No, no, no. I've cited a case law. The most important argument which you missed out last week in that, and that took almost 20 minutes of very interesting, fascinating argument. I took three, Baron, uh, Stroke, four, uh, Star Giant, the entire goes case out and of buys electoral bonds, which are all for the BJP. But she has not received to go into yes, details. But she was after his arrest. One Reddy father, one Bahudra Reddy father, rather Reddy son, and Arvind, yes, and one more chap. Now in each of those, I showed a clear pattern demonstrated with dates. A recurring pattern in every case, but in this case clearly established. Seven steps. Step one. Only a few weeks back, you Magunta or Gucci or Raghav Reddy kickback, give one, which two, three is statements. The main allegation nothing in the touching about this. Uh, not a word. Policy, liquor policy, so they are uh, called scandal. exculpatory statements. So let's not confuse the two. Step two, and even if he has and I don't say this for each of them. Step two. He was you are arrested and he ended up buying it and he became statement. informer. Let me tell Step you, three, exactly what I was trying to tell they you. They are kept the in custody, obviously harassed. On one man's evidence. Know, pressure, etc. Step four. The chief they secretary are was the one who flagged the issue. They were found in the recording through the law officer, the ASG, of the case. that so we do not to object to bail. In two cases, because of exactly inverted commas, close and close, uh, back so pay. Let's not confuse, so I told the court, I, I said, I wish everybody in this country got PLA bail on back pay. Step five, you come out and you sing a song like a cannery in your fifth statement, fourth statement, and third about the issue. And step six, immediately thereafter, you are granted pardon and given a parole. He's buying bonds. He's buying bonds. All of them are after either a parole or only for one party. Now, I think that speaks for itself. I cited a case law and to quote you two felicitous lines from memory of the case of the Supreme Court. The Supreme Court has said repeatedly, times without number. A co-accused and an approver is a most unworthy friend. Why was the policy made if at all called a friend? Okay. His credibility is zero because he has bargained for his freedom. So the principle of law is okay. that if you rely only, I I mean only on co-accused and approver persons, you must have corroborated evidence. I think there is enough meat there. Without we need to do that separately, but I want to come back to the data because otherwise we will get caught on you electoral cannot. bonds and, and we won't be able to show our viewers all the bereft of the word of corroboration. Uh, these the three or four people in this sequence of events the next question on way. What Let's should Kejriwal do no, now? I'll show you the responses in Delhi. Should he resign as chief minister? Is it okay for him to run the government from jail? But the uh, fact is, Dr. Singhvi, 
Here and the Air Force did the response is remember from the that lower capital court as well today. Here, forty-seven percent say overall he should resign. Money Only seventeen percent of opposition voters the, who will still be unforgiving in the first few questions we put out. Only seventeen percent say he should resign. So opposition voters Delhi, don't think he should resign. Seventy-six percent of opposition voters are saying in cash amount to hundred crores for the election don't resign. This is what the claim is. Naturally, this is the claim that the NDA voters. 71.2% uh, are saying resign as chief jail, minister, 23% are saying run the government from jail. So Here it looks as if it's divided between opposition and government and that an division is very clear. In the, the first few questions on whether his image has been hurt or why is he been arrested, is it because of corruption? Opposition and government opposition and government voters seem to have different points of view. Now let's look at all India data on what should Kejriwal do. 44% of over all voters say he should resign. Only 30% of opposition voters, lesser number of opposition voters, like we saw in Delhi, even all India, only 30% of opposition voters say he should resign. 62% of opposition voters say he should run the government from jail. Amongst the NDA voters, of course, it's quite predictable. They want him to go and they don't want him to run the government from jail. I want to go across to Mujit Agarwal from the Congress. You've got an alliance with the Amadmi party in Delhi, from in Punjab, the AAP and the Congress are principal tell opponents. Where is this Does that really make it complicated for people like you? Because you are not quite sure of what position to take. And you say something, Lambi says something, Sandeep Dixit says something. Says we will and do. in Punjab, Next point. Very important. Uh, the likes this. of a Pratap Bajwa Yesterday, and the others have to take a very different Manish position. Sodhia, the Congress seems caught in a very bad space. And these are states which are very close to each other, unlike West Bengal and Kerala, which are quite far from each other. So geographically, Delhi and Punjab are very close to each other scam. in so many ways. For the same money trail, no. for the same 45 <laughs> crore... Uh, uh, there is no confusion in Congress as to what our stand is. See, as far as Punjab as is concerned, we have taken a decision with our Mahdi party because we were number one and number two party. That would be better than we fight separately because if you fight together, you ultimately give space to BJP and Akali to go there and that would not be a wise decision to take. Number two. See, what is very important right now is a couple of things have happened over the last one month. One is the issue of electoral bonds, which is completely exposed BJP to be one of the corrupt parties now, in the fold world is the biggest scam which India has seen, number one. Second, freezing of Congress's accounts where these in which basically you are taking away the level playing field and almost crippling Congress received. financially so KGV that we cannot run a mm -hmm. campaign. Third, arrest of CMs, whether it's Mr. Kejriwal or whether it's Hemant Sudhain. So what people have started you know, really questioning me the two points that you make now. Let's look at them what closely people are again. Seeing, you mentioned and this Manish is reflected Sodia's in what we talk about. Manish Sisodia has just been spoke about for what being we are right up to the Supreme Court. Tones. It's been denied. What people are saying, oh, Number two, two, as you well know, the so prevention of money laundering okay. Act, so the like MLA, the grounds for arrest can be fairly wide as to what is a predicated offence. The grounds for denial of bail are also very difficult. And the virtual mention of the words proceed and the Murita picking up and they talk to people so is that Jada ho raha hai and that this is not right that your Amin data, Kejriwal even the amongst opposition voters, for most questions doesn't reflect that sympathy. So why is there a discord and between what fully you intuitively expect up in Congress in their voters to the say and what your mind. data is saying? Why I'm is using that word again, the principal mastermind of this case. Yashwant, you're on mute. Rajdeep, let us get our facts. So, I'm very so sorry with great respect that you're all going to come. There is no discrepancy in anywhere. Because the Manish Shishodhya uh, para 15 is cited by me. Because from para 1 to the penultimate para, every ground argued by the well. ASG, by the prosecution is rejected. It is being done in the right I repeat, rejected in my favor. Manish Shishodhya has denied me of the last paragraph on a different ground. But at not the same in the time, para I just read. The, uh, the money trade you're talking about that, yes, regarding is, uh, Goa is in para of the which is held in my favor. So, I don't so that's think highly relevant. The rejection is ultimately on a totally different people figure, different saying, point. I mean, Number you know, two. Adjectives uh, don't make cases. Mastermind, I can call you Kingpin, I can call you Daoud yes, Ibrahim. The Does that justify that you can keep me behind bars? So let me show that response now. Let me show that response now. The question is, 
is the modi Ma- government POC, misusing central agencies against the opposition so let's now suddenly jasmine is excited he kehta hai ye batao ab dekhte hain kya bolte hain okay so here it so is there are six words first i'll show you the responses three, i said earlier news, in delhi project, the response in delhi is 46% etc. of the voters in delhi say but none of this is yes, shown this is not even the modi government is using central agencies against the opposition uh 41.6% say no they don't see this as being political so you actually among opposition voters massive skew 74% Yes, yes, agencies are being misused. No, uh, say only 15%. Amongst India voters, 62% say no. Today you say uh, we will do something in the future. 25.1% say yes. But you can't keep a man behind bars for being a chief minister. Yes, a man with no evidence is using central agencies against the opposition. Let's now come to the no, no, it's next not question. Just the, four witnesses. the next question yeah, is you know, the fact is uh, the ED claims. This uh, question uh, is perceived in Dr. other Singh parts they of the country. So is the Modi government using central agencies against the opposition? Forty-nine percent say yes. Including those you know, who received the money in the Goa, including India, those who are behind bars at the moment, pro-KJV, and thereby establish this entire conspiracy. Now, Jasmine Shah, now, Phil Wonder, is that a good thing or a bad thing? Their voters are here, but the mood is better outside their perspective. Confrontation is a different process. That is happening outside Delhi. After the arrest, there is insurgency. Confrontation is a different process. That is happening outside Delhi. Please remember, our petition is still pending. 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 Please remember, our petition is still pending.
of the electoral bond uh, uh, purchase by an approval the constitutional amendment is unconstitutional in the as well Look and at even if you see the first question now, the way i understand this all these well, when some a, you know, in show yashwant also Indra Nehru suddenly something in the middle of the day you are doing something something no mistake calls at that the moment do they understand this level of complexity that, that there's an approval he's bought bonds for the uh, bjp because they understand mota mota now like upar upar do they understand this? who do, do, do how many know who is now democracy uh, and free and fair elections in the pharma it's not like it's pfizer you know one of the really big companies like the ones that the puna and do they understand this level of complexity when the tiwari when a poll is being done Mm -hmm. A, That's see, because the has political been, parties, the Amarni through their leaders, has been, been incarcerated from fighting from elections one. at all. It does seem to there can't be an effective voters, election I, fight if you are in jail, right on the cusp of the election, for a 20, or for August 22, or for an August 22 case. No, because if what Surely he was saying was true, then so many opposition voters wouldn't be thinking that Kejriwal's image has been hit, that Kejriwal just stepped down, that this is actually evidence of the fact that he's corrupt. So, while Amitabh Urgency and necessity to arrest on August 22 registered matter. The first summons to Kejriwal came in October 23, which he did not accept. Six months later, let's see who comes into force. The body was happens to be the only nominee in the court. Because it's not who carries the law. You also then try as it will happen. Both along with try and disintegrate the party because the leader is gone. It's headless in a in a legal process. So you are achieving multiple. Things the, the the ED, for of the right. You want yeah, going to elections? It's like saying you go to a, a, you know, a football match and you either arrest the captain or you know, take the, the goalkeeper away. And you say, let's call the football now. Like for that's example, a basic structure, that's a level playing field, that's a free and fair election, that that's democracy. That all this is going straight into basic structure. What else? Dr. Singhvi, that's an interesting but a contentious argument that you claim his arrest is a violation of the basic structure. I might point out that he avoided half a dozen summons from October. I will ask you therefore in conclusion what do you expect will happen next? It is gaining ground. What is your okay. next move? Uh, yes, What's your next move? You, you accept this theory that this is basically a battle, battle of expect? narratives because the legal battle will say take so long by the time there's reports. actually a That's judgment which result. ultimately whether it results in conviction or acquittal we don't know. At if this Caesar moment, it's about the Lok Sabha elections. After that, the assembly election. Abhi to Mahal banao. Narrative banao. Try and win system. the battle of perception. We hope and wish and pray. Is that what this is about? That those independent constitutional courts will Absolutely. come to our aid. Absolutely. That's what it no, is about. Do. At this point, it's very no, good. No, no. They no, don't. It is about justice. Okay. But we have to bear it. But the and point of the matter is, communicating that truth to the people the entire it is about both the things it's about knowing what is true and it's about communicating it you are let me leave it there dr singh thankfully we have a rahul kamal we have an india today we have many good channels who are willing to show the truth the fact that there is a sharad reddy who was called the kingpin by ed only of this so called sharab ghotala jisse chhe baar pucha gaya ki arvind kejriwal ko jante hue he says no man to kabhi mila nahi but suddenly when he gets the big story is turns and approves and says ki mujhe Away from the Supreme Court, because India's legal fraternity is split wide open on political lines. So these points today, and you know, it is not being reflected probably in your data, which I just said earlier. So these points today, including the likes of Jaisal Singh, 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 including the likes of which has gone ahead and politicized the judiciary. We'll explain who the Sharad Reddy is and how he didn't know Kejriwal after becoming a pro. He suddenly is buying bonds only for the politics. That's going to be my lead talking point. So of this matter, definitely, and if people learn that 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 this matter, definitely, and if
The letter claims the vested interest group was propagating false narratives about a golden era of the judiciary. They claim such an attempt discredits the current proceedings and undermines public confidence in the courts. The lawyers allege that this group selectively criticizes or praises the court orders based on their political agenda. The letter says it is troubling to see lawyers defend politicians by the day and try to influence judges through media at night. The group has concocted a theory of bench fixing the letter claims. The letter ends by telling the Supreme Court that staying silent or doing nothing could give more power to those who mean to do harm. Interestingly, and this thread has emerged in question after question. In Delhi, only 31% of the voters said that AAP and India Alliance will get sympathy. Prime Minister Modi seemed to endorse the lawyers when he posted on X, quoting the letter. Prime Minister said that it is a vintage Congress culture to prove beat and bully others. He also claimed that five decades ago itself, Congress had called for a committed judiciary. Congress shamelessly wants commitment from others for their selfish interests. But this is from any commitment uh, to a nation hero. Prime Minister Modi will get no, support no for the war on Grab. Uh, and 53.5% of India voters say Modi government will get support for its war on Grab. I want to go across to Yashwan Deshmukh once again. The mood ban in India more sympathetic towards the Congress Aap accused and the, the Prime Minister of basically orchestrating and coordinating an attack on the judiciary. Is in Delhi. Is that the party a added for that no one should question the dignity of the Supreme Court. If it's about winning moral battles, then it's a good thing, because you win a moral fight, right? But if it's about actual votes, your voters are here, your voters are here, your voters are here, your voters are here, your voters are here. The letter comes just days after the Supreme Court scrapped electoral bonds and directed the SBI and Election Commission to reveal details of donors and benefits.